but I ain't gonna lie, what is love is I always hate, man. It's the balance of life, man. You know, mm. live and get. Yeah. I feel like if you wake up every morning thinking about, yeah, it's gonna. You think wake you walk outside thinking like, man, nigga might try me today. You wake up for thirty days thinking that I bet you on the thirty first day try your ass. Yeah, it's power to mind. Yeah, man. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Real niggas, real niggas too. Exactly. It's crazy how exactly. niggas equate real nigga with some other shit. You gotta be too hard for the, for, like, you gotta be hard with everything. That shit weak. All right, what the fuck? That shit weak. I don't wanna be hard 24 with something, you know what I'm saying, 365 every day of my life. Bro, that's Nigga, I want that shit. I want to let my hat on, man. Bro, for that's real. crazy, bro. Niggas be tripping. Like, I feel like when you just being hard 24-7, you ain't living life, man. You not living life. We might you need is, cups, bro. Think we need cups? We might need cups. You, you can get a cup, man. If you scared to hit that ball to work, you know. <laughs> we fuck around with cups, man. But uh, let's do the proper introduction. Fuck it. Let's do it. My guy, on BPZ is in the building. Mr. J, Dang. you already know. Uh, I don't know what episode this is. We... I just do this shit, but look, <laughs> um, we talking it's about true. real niggas and this misconception of like just being a real nigga. Yeah, real talk. Like people be mis- misguiding everybody. Like that's another way motherfuckers being misguided. They think being a real nigga, a real one, or a real man is something different <laughs> than what it really is, man. You feel me? A real man is being somebody. A real nigga to me is being somebody that know they self. You feel me? And in a situation, they gonna be the same person. Not scared of growth. You feel what I'm saying? And you and you passing on the knowledge that you learning to people that you love. You feel me? Facts. Real talk. That's being a real nigga and taking care of your family. You know all that shit. That's that shit that you supposed to do. That ain't. You know what I'm mean? saying? You know it's crazy because like I, I speak about this a lot on my platform. Like mm-hmm. um, coming up, I feel like the hood instilled the wrong shit. You know what I'm saying? But if you hear me out though, respectfully, I feel like it ain't really instilled the wrong shit. We just took it wrong as yeah. kids. Yeah. Cause like for example, like it was this thing like not being a bitch, right? Yeah. Not being a bitch don't really mean that I gotta fight you for whatever you do. Not being a bitch might be walking away or taking care of my family. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But I just feel like coming up, we had it misconstrued for real. We had it all fucked up. But like, it be like pressure coming up. That's just what we talk. You feel me? Talk, man. Don't let no nigga slide, man. You feel me? Nigga hit you, get your leak back out. Let you feel me? So we when when you growing up under that under that light, it's like it's hard to change from it. I ain't gonna lie, it's it hard is. to change from anything, you feel me? Real well, shit. Talk to me about this though. You in the music game, yeah. you in the industry and shit. How much pressure do you feel like the industry put on niggas to uphold this image and keep that image going? Oh, it put a lot of pressure on a nigga. It put a lot of pressure on a nigga. That's why, I, that why, that's why I, stress the, I stress the fact that you gotta know yourself and be yourself, you feel me? Like if you know this you, you ain't finna do no extra shit or feel like you putting in no extra work being yourself. You feel me? Like right. this you. You feel me? Like you gotta like if you was taught if you was taught or you you was born walking on your hands, you feel me? You ain't gonna know nothing else but walk on your hands. Everybody <laughs> else gonna be walking on their feet. You're gonna be looking at them like, like they crazy. Yeah, what the fuck is you walking on your feet for? Mm. Mm. Do you believe so in you. I I feel like um when you said that it made me think of like uh somebody said, Ain't no such thing as common sense. Common sense ain't so common. Mm-hmm. Like I always tell people, I be telling people like, ain't nobody stupid. Everybody just take time to learn different shit. You mm-hmm. feel me? Facts. Real talk. Damn, man. What so are some can... of the shit you had to learn like just coming up? Cause you from Mobile, Alabama. Yeah, Mobile, you from yeah. you moved to California. And I'm assuming Sacramento? Yeah, yeah. You moved to Sacramento. Yeah. That's a whole different Whole different world, man. First of all, before we even get about the shit you learned, like Real talk. how the fuck Mobile, I don't really know too much about the city. But I'm gonna assume that like it's kind of like Baltimore. It's small. Small, yeah, for sure. You probably grew up in the projects. You know, wicked hard to get out. You know, I grew up in the project. so mm-hmm. all we know is city kids is what what's around us. Probably never know about no city. We don't know about yeah. no accents. We don't know about. Yeah, we know, know what's in front of us, right? That's why I'm glad. 
that's why I'm glad I was blessed with the with the with the opportunity to go to Cal at a young age and see how big the world is and see how shit different is. Well, you feel me? Because mm. I didn't know. You feel me? Yeah. I was on like I was just stuck. I ain't even know the whole mobile. I only knew my <laughs> side. I only knew Orange Grove, the bottom in the count. You feel me? Yo, it's just That's like that in the city in, in Baltimore, bro. It's just like that. Like niggas, we got West, East, and shit like South and shit like that. Mm. It's some niggas that never even leave West Baltimore. Bro. Exactly. Exactly. You feel me? So it's like being blessed with that with that opportunity though you feel me? like my mama really like taking that risk taking that chance man i ain't gonna lie that shit really changed my life changed my way of thinking changed everything for real for real talk to me about i think you moved at 12. yeah i'm about 12 years old you moved at 12 years old bro mm -hmm. tell me about that it, like, it was crazy <laughs> like all right see my mama had came and got me and my brother she had already had my sister with her she, my mom came and kidnapped me and my brother from my dad and her, my, her and her sister. Why? Did auntie, she say why? Cause she just she wanted us type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, I don't know. She just wanted. Not the, not the end. Cause I want you to keep going, mm. and I don't mean to cut you off, but I just want to dig deeper into the conversation. Was this when she got out of jail? Yeah, this when she got out of jail. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. she probably was like, Nah, I'm coming for his mom. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. Okay. Type shit. I don't know how long she did though. I'ma ask her. I don't know how long Did she, she ever tell you up. why she got locked up? Nah, she ain't never tell. I ain't, we ain't never just had that conversation for real, for real. I ain't no kid. It was like just, cause I don't want her to think like, I don't want her to think like I'm mad. I don't know shit for going to jail. I don't know shit like that. So it's just, I ain't never just had that conversation. I just be like, fuck that shit. What you did changed our life. You feel me? So Thanks. it's like, fuck it. You feel me? But her and her sister had rented a U-Haul truck. You feel me? Or you have a van, matter of fact. And Sheesh. then put all their kids in the back. We ain't had no windows or nothing. The only windows we had was the ones in the front with a driver and a passenger seat. And we got two windows on the back of the van. You feel me? Them the only windows we got. Damn. And it wasn't like it was hot as fuck. Ain't no, this this a cargo van. This is like where you put your clothes and shit and your, your couches and shit in. You feel me? So yeah. ain't no AC back there, motherfucker. The only ad is, is up there by the driver and the, um, and the passenger. You feel me? So my auntie holding a little fan to the back of the like cage thing it's like a little cage you feel me she holding the oh, fan right there yeah, yeah and we taking we taking chances getting close to the fan you feel me like all right it's my turn uh, all right two people at a time like it's a little fan you know the little fan girls be using in the club keep that makeup right hell no that one that one it couldn't have been that one the little the little fan that motherfucker ain't no bigger than this Damn. but we back there for like three days the first experience the first thing i noticed when i got to california was the the l like the l was thinner Fam, it, it was thinner, like it was easy to breathe out there. Like, real talk, that's the first thing I, I noticed. And then I'm thinking we going to LA the whole time. I'm thinking about Hollywood and Niggas shit. Niggas don't like know, that. right? Man, we drive straight <laughs> past LA. We stop in LA for like 20 minutes. I'm, I'm, I remember just like, where we going? Like, where, where we going? And we still driving, still driving, still driving. Then we end up in Sacramento. When we get there, my mom and them had already contacted the shelter. You feel me? So when we pulled up to the shelter and shit, they let us in off real. They take us to the back. I ain't had no clothes. I had on my sister's shirt. You feel sure. me? And I ain't had no shoes on. So they had to they had to take us to the back of the shelter to get us some clothes and shit. You feel me? Yeah. That shit was crazy though. It was shell shock. But moving into Sacramento, right? Yeah. Coming from the projects. I'm a, so I don't really know too much. Mm -hmm. But I'm assuming it, it looked different. Cause mm -hmm. even the hood in LA, because we ain't about to act like it ain't no hoods in LA. Yeah. Even the hoods in California, Kinda Sacramento, it's it's the hoods, but it looked different. Yeah, it looked better like I, w I wasn't even tripping out being in the shelter because in the shelter, bro, it's flat, big ass flat TVs on the wall. Like, I'm I'm new to all this shit, like, Facts. for real. Like, so I'm like, oh, this shit look like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I wasn't even tripping out being in no the shelter. Hella kids running around. Like, we was, I ain't gonna lie, I was chilling, you feel me? We stayed up there for a little bit till my mom and them had got a spot. So, did you ever, like, you got in a lot of fights when you first moved? Nah. Nope. I got into a, I got into one fight. No, no, matter of fact, I got into two fights when I first got out. I, I beat one black nigga. Oh, I forgot what we fought for. I think nigga was just instigating that shit. And then I had a fight at school because a white boy had called me nigga. And you know, nigga, yeah. they say nigga in um in California like that. They do. Yeah, they be, they be white boys be saying nigga. Niggas like, is crazy. They still I had, get that I, had, that I, had I had I had grew to get used to that shit. Like, oh, that shit don't even affect me no more. But he say some 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 nigga. I'm like. Wait, so you telling me if a if a white boy came to me like my nigga right now, you wouldn't be mad? No, I wouldn't be tripping. Cause it, if he, it depends on how a nigga see it. Like I go out energy and shit, <clears throat> so I ain't really tripping. Nigga be like, man, my nigga peas and man, I, I grew up off your shit. Like I love your music, okay? Cause he just so used to like he he feel like he can talk to me like this. Like you feel me? Okay, we cool. But if you 
nigger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I feel like I understand what you're saying, mm-hmm. and I think I, I I was agreeing at one point in time, but I don't. I just feel like they should know better. Like yeah, you know, yeah. like I get it. it. We different cultures. Like it's it's, it's white right boys top, that right that, that came from where we come from. Uh-huh. But you still should have that respect. Like nah, mm-hmm. I ain't even gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I'm around, if I'm around, like if I got a white homeboy or something, and he be saying nigga, I'm gonna be saying cracker. Like man, them crackers, like man, hey man, watch out for them crackers, man. They trying to know what I'm saying. But him calling you a nigga and it's you calling mu- him, it's it's a mutual respect type shit. Like I don't be tripping on that shit. Okay, I don't think I heard a white people calling each other cracker before though. Nah, nah, I ain't no. But so, you know, down south we call like like we call police crackers though. That's gonna crackers, man. Oh yeah, we crackers are lock your ass up type yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit. So yo, let me ask you this question. And I had this conversation a couple times on here. Not to get too deep, but it, I mean, pause. That is what it is though. You said you never talked to your moms about getting locked up. <clears throat> when you was 12, do you remember how that, if you could think back on when you was 12 and how life was without your mom, do you like? Do you vividly remember those times? Yeah, I remember that shit vividly. Him, but not like that, but I wasn't really tripping. Like, it wasn't like really no thing. Like, oh, mama gone. Like, it wasn't no, because they used to always drop us out at my grandma's house. Mm. Film, so I, I was used to being without my mama and my dad. But they was around, but they weren't around all the time. So I was used to being without them. My dad was a truck driver. He always gone. Even when we stayed with him, we getting home from school, he gone. That's how my mom was able to come get us easily like that. You feel me? Because my dad was on the road. Yeah. Making that money. You know what I'm saying? So we was used to being around. Like, we like we got used to, like, like you know what I'm saying? I'm the youngest. You feel me? So, like, my older brothers and shit, like, kind of, like, raised the nigga. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So it's like, we was used to being with that. Now it's a different. It's, it's okay. I get being used to it, right? Mm-hmm. But I, I just, you know, I say this all the time because I do therapy and shit. Like you do therapy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like physical therapy or mental? No, nah, like? I meant like, like, like counseling, which I call like you know therapy. It seems like I need a therapist. No, no, no. I would never like everybody need a therapist in my opinion. You get what I'm, I'm saying? No, no. Not not like I would be offended if I need one. I'm nah, saying like nigga, I can't. I don't know you to judge you. That's okay, okay, okay. It's too soon. It's too soon. Yeah, 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 nigga. Yeah. Like no, I would just suggest therapy for everybody. But I say that because it sounds similar. Like so, like man, my mom's right. My mom's uh, she wasn't around a lot because like she had her own shit going on. But she did what she did everything she had to do to make sure I was good, yeah. and I understood that. But I never forget. I was in a therapy session and my therapist was like, yo, how did it make you feel? You feel I'm like, man, my mom did the shit. Like she did everything she could. Like I like everything she did is what got me to where I'm at. You feel mm-hmm. me? So it's a blessing. But I'll never forget one day I was just thinking, like, damn, like that really did hurt though. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know as much as I give my mom's respect and I and I show the love and gratitude. Nigga did used to want nigga used to want you want your mom and shit. And that's why I'm asking, mm-hmm. like, just yeah. for a nigga you, that you know. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes when my mom used to pull up, we know she about to leave, we'll put bricks behind her tiles and shit, like little shit like that. We ain't want them to leave, but we had to grow to, like, all right, man, this what it is type shit, that's what it is. You spending you know a lot of times with your moms now? Yeah, when I when I can, you feel me? Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like emotionally detached from a lot of shit, cause I had to like, I had to like train myself not to get my feeling like not to get my hopes up and shit about shit so i don't like I, i'm emotionally detached from a lot of shit so i be trying to work on that shit like go see my mama more and talk to her more like answer the phone for the people that i know love me type shit you know what i'm saying you think it's hard because you you, you didn't really have that connection yeah, coming grown, up grown, we had a connection but shit once you get used to like oh yeah man i gotta like take care of myself yeah because like, my mama and then like when i got older my mama and shit, when we was staying in California, like, she always got a nigga what he needed. But, you know, going to school, you see what you want. So it's like, shit, once I got in the streets and shit and started, you know what I mean? It was just, that what it was. Yeah. I had moved out of, like, 17, I think 16. I moved out of 16, turned 17, staying with my baby mama. Yeah, I had, yeah, I moved out at 16. So you don't never, like, even now, like, bro, you successful as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, you doing your thing. I know you still pushing for more success yeah, and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. But you don't never sit back and be like, man. I wish I had that connection or that bond with my peoples. Hell yeah. But we got a bond. It's just like more of a like, like that my mom I love with the devil. It's more of a like, that my homegirl type Okay. Shit. Like when she pull up dressed up, I oh, go on there like, you know what I'm saying? Like I love my mom and my daddy the devil, but shit, I'm grown now. And then my daddy had told me that too. He was like, man, live your life. Mm. Like, man, live your life. Like, don't stress out nothing, nigga, live. Do you, do you feel like, where you came from, where we came from, like ain't really uh, 
give us a, uh, a fair a fair shot for real. Fuck no, we ain't get no fair shot, man. <laughs> Hell no, nah, man. These motherfuckers be having good credit before they turn 18 and shit. These motherfuckers be having like all the knowledge on how to live off SS, all that, you feel me? Before they even get of age, you feel me? So we, we for sure ain't have no. But outside of that, like, because... You know, I mean, we get, we we go talk about some real shit. Like you, you, you look up OMEPs and we can't can't ignore the, the shit, the trouble that you got in, mm-hmm. right? Do you feel like a, a lot of that was because of your background, where you like how you came up? You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of it was like you ain't felt like you ain't have a choice. Yeah, for sure. Like I feel like, and then it's a lot of mistakes I made when I was little. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So it, it make it easier for a motherfucker to hold something like that against me. You feel me? And be like, oh shit, you did this. You feel me? Like it ain't no. Nah, I mean, just because of mistakes I made in the past before I got. Before you know niggas saying? even exactly. came about. You feel me? Before I even learned anything about life, you feel me? And I feel like that's what motherfuckers be doing. Like, they just holding their past against a motherfucker. So if they hear your name in it, in anything, they, oh shit, it's a 90% chance that he down there did this because his background. Yo, let's talk about that. Because um, I was thinking about that with the um, with the thug case. Mm. And I was like, because I want to be fair, you know what I'm saying? Because hypothetically, like, you don't have to say this. I'll say like just hypothetically, in all fairness, if things were done right, I don't want to take away from the families that it was done to. Just with all due respect, hypothetically, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like I look at it just being somebody that's trying to get to a thug level for a stardom and things like that. I'm like, bro, it's like, damn, man, we damned if we do it, damned if we don't. Because if he didn't do it, you're trying to hold some shit up over because of a so, fucking uh, name. Uh, mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like because of a name. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's, it's, it's like it's. It's it's hard to say because I I want to be fair. You know what I'm saying? Just being real. Because if, if if things was done, I definitely don't want to take nothing away from the family. But at the end of the day, I look at it like just being real. I'm gonna just be straight up. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I don't offend nobody. But it is what it is. I look at it like yo. This is all it come down to. You innocent. You well, you supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. That's all it come Facts. down to. So, if a motherfucker feel any type of way about you voicing your opinion about the shit, then they ain't looking at it right because you're right. supposed to be innocent to proven guilty. You feel right. me? Unless it's something that a motherfucker don't know about. You feel me? I'm just trying to figure out when is when is niggas able to change their life? What you mean? Like just it's, it's period. You know what I'm saying? Like even if you was into some shit, right? Like not saying you get niggas killed or nothing like that, but let's just say you was into some shit, right? And then you did change your life. And let's say, I don't know, um, hypothetically, let's say why I said was some shit. Right, and then you like, bro, I wasn't into that, and now I changed my life, and I'm I'm putting a lot of people on, I'm making a lot of people money, I'm changing a lot of people's lives hmm. right now. I feel like in the life, I feel like in the life that we live, it's hard, it's hard to change. It ain't hard to change because you can change yourself, but the things that motherfuckers are already see you for, and like and feel like they know you for, you feel me? It, it's it's still in their mind, so. In their mind state, you not a changed man, but your whole soul can be different. Your whole aura can be different. Like how you carry yourself, talk, what you say, like what you teaching the kids and everything could be different, but they still want to keep hold on to the past. And like, it's easier for a human being to hold on to bad thoughts than good. You feel me? That's for any human being. You feel me? It take longer for bad thoughts to get out your brain than good thoughts. You feel mm. me? Straight Why do you think up. that? I don't know. I just feel like that's the vibration that everybody in. You feel me? That's just how life is. You feel me? Yo, it's crazy. And then just going back to the conversation about the industry, I feel like, bro, it's like it's what rappers outside of, I'm going to just ask the question. What rappers outside of, I don't know. I know it's probably a lot, but shit, J. Cole. I fuck with J. Cole. I like J. Cole. Kendra, I don't know, like, I feel like a lot of it's a lot of like gangster rappers or like street rappers that's flourishing. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like if you coming up and you want to flourish, you kind of like, bro, I want to be like these rappers. Mm-hmm. And now you got niggas saying, yo, you ain't, you ain't living what you rapping. So you try to live that, mm-hmm. and then it puts it put us back in a cycle up, that you, you getting locked up. That go back to me saying you gotta know yourself. Like you know what I'm saying? It's obvious when somebody know themselves. Like you feel me? You just gotta know you, bro. Don't try to do what you think cool. Don't try to do what you think gonna get you somewhere. You just gotta be yourself. Keep your eyes on the prize, and then you gonna get there. If you being something that you not, it's either gonna be dead in jail or everybody gonna see it. And it's, and you ain't gonna get nowhere either out of neither one of them three. You Playing me? devil's advocate though. Let's just be real. A lot of niggas like back backpack rappers are outcasts for a reason. Let's just be real. I yeah. say outcasts because like a lot of them is. It's people flourishing for sure, mm-hmm. but they outcast for a reason. Cause we look at the niggas that we don't call backpack rappers, mm-hmm. and like I don't know, like a Yo Gotti, a Lil Baby, Forty Two Doug, you know what I'm saying? King Von, like on BPs, you know what I'm saying? So it's mm-hmm. like, man, I need to portray the street life because 
that's the niggas that's making it. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it, the industry make it hard because like niggas ain't really making it. Even if you if you yourself and you not one of these niggas, it's hard. It's already harder to make it as a as a rapper. You know what I'm saying? That was is even harder. Yeah. Shit. Just playing devil's advocate. You just gotta be yourself and find a good way to a good way to get down to put it out there. Like Facts. You just gotta be yourself, thug. On some real shit though, I feel exactly where you coming from. Cause this is a lot of like nigga, I was, I came up on that cheap keep. I'm like and then I used to always listen to Boosie and shit, and I feel like I'm the per, I'm the type of person that was really like seventy percent raised by music. Mm. You feel me? The music I was listening to, like I'm learning how. Okay, so I don't do that. I do this. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I don't do this. I do that. You feel me? Like listening to Kevin Gates, Boosie, Tupac, shit like that. You feel me? Like I was really raised up on music, so it's like I get exactly where you come from. Motherfucker, be like, all right, I want to be like this. Yeah. You feel me? And that shit. But me, I feel like I already knew myself at a young age, you feel me? And then, well, that's all I was around, so I just felt like it it, it was what it was. You feel like, um, because it's crazy, like, is, is any of that, even the other type of music, right? Is it even that interesting? Outside of, like I said, outside of the J. Coles, the yeah. fucking Kendricks, and I mean, we had niggas like B, B.O.B. and shit like that before, but we don't have a lot of them now, but... If we took, if we, let's say we like, yo, we can't keep polluting the street with this gang music and talking about violence and shit like that. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. Keep on it. Is that, is it, is it, is the other shit interesting? You know, like, now that, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, rap, rap is like, it's lifestyle too. You feel me? Yeah, Your okay. lifestyle gotta be, it gotta be entertaining. Like, we entertainers, you feel me? And some people good at just dropping music and then it, it go up and they don't show nothing that they doing in their real life. But nowadays, bro, people want to see, like, man, how you living? Like, you feel me? You right. living good or you struggling? Yeah. Like, you thugging or you ain't doing nothing? And if you're not, but if you're not struggling, just being real, like, so, like like I said, I can relate to you a lot because, like, come up, come up in Baltimore, Boosie is, like, yeah, honorary Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, he honorary mm-hmm. from Baltimore. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you hear songs, like, I think you got a song like it, too, Uh, you don't know my struggle. You know what I'm saying? So when you hear songs like that, it hit home. It's like, nigga, you really you don't, don't know my struggle. Yeah, exactly, you can't say, exactly. so you can't, you don't know what the fuck mm-hmm, I've been through. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So you can't tell me shit. My mama though. So when you hear these shits, it's like, that's what hit home. Mm-hmm. But it be them same songs that got the violence in it. It's like, and we start thinking like, man, I don't know, we, we kids. You know what I'm saying? We want to go that route. But mm-hmm. it's like, back to the point, we never was given given a fair shot. Well, it's crazy. Like, a lot of us, when we wasn't brought up around, like, we wasn't seeing niggas buying business and shit. We seeing niggas buying guns. Facts. Feel me? Yeah, that's crazy. Like, we seeing niggas having fun. As a kid, eight years old, something, like, you don't know, you just see niggas smiling, laughing and shit. You seeing niggas having fun doing street shit. So mm-hmm. it's like, shit, hey, that what it is. Like, oh, I do that to get my smiles. Facts. Bro, you been through some shit, bro. Yeah, I been through a lot of shit, bro. Bro, how the fuck, like, I heard you um explain the, uh, the story when... Your homie killed himself. Yeah, I'm tired of that kid, so. bro. There's no joke. way you can tell me that you don't just you don't never sit back home and just thinking like, bro, I'll this shit. I'll be, I'll be thinking about that shit, but really, I seen that shit so young. It just made me feel like shit. Death like a baby being born. So I feel like me thinking like that. That's like, that was the only way that I can stop that shit from bothering me from mentally. You feel me? So it's like shit. Death like a baby being born. Death like a baby being born. Just teach myself that and like sit on that. You feel me? Because I was so young, like. I ain't even really understand that shit. Damn. I think about that shit once in the air, once in a blue moon, though. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure you done lost some people on the, on the way. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Does any it does any one of them, like, hurt any worse than the other? Nah, they all hurt, for real. My grandma, uh, my nigga little Tay just died, my little brother. Yeah, got killed. Yeah, they all hurt, fam. And that's, 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 you ever think about that and be like, man, I don't ever want to like, I don't want to say this as a like, again, because we just met, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And you can correct me if I'm wrong anytime any time we met. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, do you ever think about that? Just looking at the past and shit and be like, man, or did you ever think about that and be like, man, I, I can't keep going this route because all my niggas keep falling off. Or is that like, it come with the, the lifestyle? It come with it for real, like. Like I said, it's hard to change. Like, you feel me? Well, it's hard to change in the eyes of people. Once they know you for some shit, like, they're gonna, that's what they know you for. What about for yourself, though? 
shit for me is like I'm changing. You feel me? I feel like I'm a change. I can see that. But I'm saying like, like in the past, did you ever think about man? I gotta change because my, I'm losing my niggas left and right. I gotta change because I can't keep fucking up the money. Nah, it, it's like shit. I gotta change like for my little boy. Like cause mm -hmm. I wanna be here for my for my son. Like everything else, that shit come with it. Going to jail, losing niggas, might you might die, getting shot. I didn't been shot before. You feel me? Everything else come with it. Mm -hmm. I'm like man. Yeah, you I got gotta, shot in your foot, right? Yeah, yeah. I got shot in my foot. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah, I got to change for my little boy so I can be him. For him. Mm. Got to be able to tell him stories and shit, you know. Yeah. How was how how was your son now? My son's six, he cool. He cool. He cool. He, he, he want to be a rapper like you? Nah, I don't think he want to be no rapper, man. I think he I think that little nigga know how to sing though. I think he just shy. I think he shy. I think he know how to sing. sing. He go, he go, he go, he go. I was just looking over him. <laughs> he be playing, he teaching himself how to play the piano and shit. I don't know if I want I, I really want to put him in boxing. Cause he like he like the box and shit. Nah, that's hard. But he 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 gravitating towards like music more. Bro, you was um, I don't know if it was a, a year ago. You was like, it was an open case or whatever about some shit. Open case. You was uh like I had a pistol charge or some shit like that. That shit done. I, I, oh, wait, hold on. A year ago? I don't know if it was a year ago or. Yeah, that had to be a minute ago. Cause that shit done. They gave me uh probation for that shit. Okay, that's good. Two year probation for this. That's good. That's good. So you don't got nothing go like. You ain't, I ain't got nothing going on. That's fire, bro. That's fire. You you did some uh, music with, you know, I thought was interesting. I hope I'm not wrong. Didn't you do a song with Quando? Yeah, I did a song with him like what? Five years ago, four four and a half, five years ago. Right, and then you had a song with uh, Vaughn too. Yeah, that was recent. Yo, how like when you. When you see niggas go through that situations and shit like that, and you like kind of in the middle of it, do you ever like think about it like, man, what the fuck? Like, do it make you feel any way, or it's like I don't got shit to do with it? Nah, it don't make me feel no way. It don't make me feel no way. I fuck with Vaughn though. That was my dog. You feel me? I did try to like you know keep my head straight though. Yeah, no, I was asking because I I wonder like how do you because if you have a mutual party and a mutual party start beefing and shit like that it's like man shit that can fuck my money up because if i if i want to i want really just hang with quando rondo though okay it was, I hang with King Vondo, it, was it was business <laughs> hello mm -hmm. fine that uh, oh pretty i don't know why she cleaning up and mopping that shit man she supposed to be selling that yeah <laughs> <laughs> we talking about the uh the uh the cleaning lady <laughs> yeah she, she supposed to be going door to door like avon <laughs> <laughs> So no, so like you, you said you ain't really have like you had a more relationship with Vaughn. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was my dog. I fuck with Vaughn. Damn. How was that when uh when he passed, bro? I ain't believe that shit. I ain't believe it. That's how I seen like certain people posting and then a couple motherfuckers told me. I'm like, oh shit. Then when I seen the video, the video really what blow me. I'm like, man. Yo, they gotta stop fucking publicizing niggas deaths, bro. That shit's yeah, crazy. You no, know, we, we live in an era and that, man. Niggas be wanting anything for some clout. Yeah. Like, what was I like wouldn't be surprised, like, see, I feel like when niggas get old, niggas gonna fuck around and have a heart attack and go live. <laughs> niggas gonna be going live <laughs> having a heart attack. I old think I seen fuck. somebody get shot. They got shot in the head or some shit and they went live. I don't know who the fuck it was. Uh, Nigga got shot and the first thing he do is go live. I'm yeah, like, nigga don't do nothing, he gonna go live. Niggas is crazy. Niggas gonna get this clout. Fuck it. Man, fuck but now, that. what was like? What was some of like? What? Cause I never. I, I, I wasn't able to get, uh, meet Vaughn. We only see the uh, the shit that they portray on the media and shit. How was he like? What was some of the most memorable times? Oh, bro, was bro, good uh, person. Like he wanted to see everybody eat. Like for real, for real. Everybody around him, he wanted to see them happy. Fam. That's why I felt like me and him was similar and shit. And that's what made me like. That what drew me towards him. You know what I'm saying? I'm more like, man, you're a cool nigga. Cause I like seeing everybody happy. You want to see everybody happy, having fun too around him. Like the people he care about and he don't care about him, mm. he want to see them on and shit. And that's what stuck out the most, you feel me, about bro, to me. Do you feel like, like a man. lot of these niggas, um, a lot of the situations happen because, and I say this a lot, I, I, so I don't really talk about this with uh, bigger artists that come on my um, platform. It's more so from people from, from my city. You feel like a lot of shit happen because niggas be downplaying that celebrity? Like niggas don't be walking around with security, niggas not really protecting themselves and shit like that. They just walking around like I'm just I'm me for real. You no, know, it's like we young, man. So I feel like most of the shit just be like young thinking. Like young thinking, like all like all of us been misguided, you feel me? 
But like shit, we we know what we know, mm-hmm. and it be it be hard to like change the mentality that you've been living. Like most of us only been in the industry for a couple of years, but mm-hmm. we've been living a certain way for twenty years, twenty one years and shit. Know what I mean, then thinking a certain way for twenty years and shit. So nigga ain't nigga just ain't used to this shit. I hope you walk around with a motherfucking security, cause yeah, I got security sometimes. Like, cause niggas, bro, niggas is like you a big deal. Sometimes, sometimes security might bring problems. So I don't, so I don't go ear with security. How you talking to me? What you mean? Like. You know, you all right, back in the day, it'd be a nigga. He'd be stunning shit, I'd be broke. I ain't thinking about taking nothing from him, you feel me? But he'd get to acting weird like he think I'm finna take something from him or do something to him, and that'd put it on my mind. Like, shit, I might as well go ahead and, you feel me? Are you scary? So some, Fuck it. Yeah, exactly. So some situations, like I'd rather just walk in and just me, you feel me? Because I know how to treat people. I done been in jail and shit, so I know respect go a long way, you feel me? As long as you showing respect and you cool, like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't give off no funny energy. You good. And I feel like some securities and shit, they like, sometimes you have security and shit, niggas be, why the fuck he bring security to somebody's house? <laughs> like, you mm. feel me? Like, I'd be, like, if I go to, if I go to, a girl, say if I've been fucking with a girl for a long time, and then her family having a party at her mama's house, I'm not gonna bring security over that. <laughs> fuck, I'm gonna bring security to a, a dinner or some shit like that for, you feel me? A family gathering, shit like that, you feel mm-hmm. me? They just I, throw the vibe off. I feel you, but I don't know. We hear stories like, bro, we can't ignore it. Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle was at a fucking uh what's a community event or some shit like that. Um uh Young Dolph. Young Dolph was going to get cookies. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get it, but it's like, I don't know. I be wanting my niggas to be safe at all times, you know what I'm saying? Especially I just feel like a lot of times we downplay our celebrity because it's like, bro, I'm me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't coming. Like you saw how I did an interview interview with Chino. Um he signed to uh Dream Chases with uh, Meek Mill and he was saying like, bro, I don't walk around with security in my hood because like, you know, like I ain't know no, I ain't know no shit. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I ain't bring that energy. Niggas ain't bring that energy to me. But it's always a nigga that's hating somewhere. You know what I'm saying? That's waiting to catch you lagging. Uh-huh. And it's like, when we gonna learn from that? There's a lot of niggas, so many people that Slim Duncan, so many fucking uh, Lil Snoop, mm-hmm. so many niggas that died in that, in that hometown because they was just being them. Oh, mama. I feel like you can dodge it walking outside though, man. That's a fact. If that's the case, shit, I need security. I'm putting my clothes on in the morning, man. I might slip and hit my head on the counter. Nah, facts. I and I always be trying to pick niggas' brains because, like, it's, we always hit it. Then as soon as we hit, even Boosie, Boosie's like, yo, you die in your hometown, shit like that, for the most part. But it's like, if I'm in my hometown, I'm giving, I'm in love. I'm, I'm, I get love, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I ain't on no bullshit. Yeah. I don't know, man. But I ain't gonna lie, what is love is always hate, man. It's the balance of life, man. You know, mm-hmm. live and you die. Damn. I feel like if you wake up every morning think about dying, yeah, it's gonna die. You think wake, you walk outside thinking like, man, nigga might try me today. You wake up for thirty days thinking that I bet you on the thirty first day a nigga gonna try your ass. Yeah, it's power mind. to mind. So I don't wake up and I don't go places thinking like, man, something about to happen. Cause I know my mind's so strong, bro. If I think that shit, bro, something gonna happen. Or me just thinking it, I might just be extra mugging niggas. Cause I'm extra staring at niggas. Cause I'm feeling it. I'm thinking something about to happen, so I'm staring at niggas for too long now, and I'm starting problems. You yeah. feel me? And now you yeah, might man. be a little too trigger yeah, happy because yeah, I'm starting problems with shit. Nah, facts. I fuck with it. What you got? What, what you got working? Like what you working on now? Oh yeah, man. That's why I keep saying this misguided shit because that's really how I feel. That's, you that's did the name. plug that like so that's many times. That's the name. That's the name of my tape. If you're misguided, if I'm dropping them off for next month, that's really how I feel. Like a lot of us been misguided, and I feel like it's taking for a young nigga like me to show people during the process of me learning that I'm misguided. Like I ain't just trying to come off as no preacher type shit. Like I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to preach to no you, young niggas you no nothing. You had something preachers to the street. Yeah, I had <laughs> preachers to the street. Yeah, I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to come off as no like I'm just trying to teach a nigga, or thump a nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm learning this shit too. So I want them to. I want them to see this shit. Like, learn as I'm learning. You feel me? Mm, that's hard. Who you got on there? Shit, uh, G Herbo, uh, N L E Chapel. Yo, how nigga, the fuck? Baby money. How you be getting these niggas, bro? You be ha- like, you did the NBA Young Boy feature, like yeah, early. A while ago. Yeah, I did that shit early. How the fuck, like, because still, not to downplay you at all, you, like, you still want to come up. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But you done had a bunch of major features. Yeah, I, I make real music, man. You feel me? Like, I make shit that everybody can feel. Like, I ain't just trying to make you ball of your head. I want to make you grab your chest. You feel me? So mm-hmm. the people that I do features with, they, they they already be familiar with my music and be like, man, I fuck with you. Like, Damn. shit, hell yeah, I get on that shit. Like, Damn. hell yeah, we can shoot the video because they already fuck with a nigga. Yo, how do you like? What do you think? What would you call this this uh this place in your life right now? Like this this particular moment in your oh, life. Shit. What would you call it? This the growing period. 
It's the growing period, man. I'm growing right now. Mm. I'm learning a lot of shit about myself, about life, about the industry. Nah, man, I'm what's putting all that shit in the play. What's the last? What's the last three things you learned? You talking about about yourself, about, about the industry? Myself. Oh shit, one about myself, shit that. I can be whatever I want to be, for real, for real. Like that shit might sound cliche. Yeah, I was about to and ask. I've been like, hearing that shit all my life, but it really just not starting to hit me. Like I really can be anything I want to be. How? Like you like, want to be peasy? Like, like that's what I'm saying. Like and I called this shit. Like since I was little. Like I always been telling people, bro, this is what I'm finna be. So how you Man, just learn that? Like what happened? It's like I started, I started doubting myself, and then I had to really run it back in my mind. Like, bro, I really called this into play. So that's when it hit. Like, oh. I can call anything I want to play. I can be whoever I want to be. You feel me? I can do what the fuck ever I want to do. You feel me? Mm. So that's when it really hit. Like, bro, I really manifested this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then shit by life is like, I can't force shit. Mm. I can't force nothing. Like, and I gotta, I gotta worry about me more than everybody else worrying about me. Mm. I can't expect everybody else to worry about me. You feel me? I gotta handle me and get me right. You feel me? No nah, facts. <laughs> How do do you think? Um, do you ever get like frustrated with where you at? Cause of course, like you, you lit as fuck, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's still like I feel like you still like in the middle. Yeah. Do you ever be like frustrated, like fuck? Or? Yeah, I get frustrated all the time, but like what what helped me with that is like at the end of the day, I really feel like I'm made for this shit, and then I called everything to existence. So I feel like shit. If I came this far, I can take it all the way down. Facts. Sure. So that's really what be helping me. I don't be caring, man. It is what it is. Nah, I don't say I don't be caring, cause nigga, I ain't gonna lie. When that shit hit, that shit hit, nigga. Yeah. Be mad. <laughs> Especially if somebody see it, like, man, you underrated. I be like, oh shit, it's noticeable. Oh, I, ain't, I don't just see it. You For feel real? Me? Mm -hmm. It's crazy, cause I be the one to see this. So mm -hmm. if like somebody else said, I ain't gonna lie, it kind of make me feel better, cause like, yeah, like niggas know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, you had a moments, it be lit, it be lit, and then you be in the crib by yourself, like, man, fuck, like, nah, like this ain't. This ain't where I want to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ain't that crazy, bro? Mm -hmm. All your success. All this shit you got going. I mean, you, millions of views on YouTube. I mean, fucking money, jewelry, all that shit. And you still looking for to reach another level. You know what that is? It's like, I was watching this John Mayer. Uh, I was watching this John Mayer. Uh, I think he was talking on a seminar or something. And he was like, the problem with uh, most artists is before they, um, before they come into the game, when you making your, they don't make no goal. Mm. I never made a goal. I never said, okay, I'm gonna feel like I made it when I when I see when I reach two million views on the video, or I'm, I'm gonna feel like I made it when I perform at Rolling Loud, or when I get Ti features, I'm gonna feel like I made it. I never set a goal, so it's like however far I feel, however far I get, I feel like I never feel comfortable. Feel never me? good enough. Never good enough, and I feel like that's the best way to think for me. Yo, it's crazy because you, it's a fact, bro. It's like we ignore the steps, mm -hmm. like niggas, like. I'm gonna say you, right? Cause like, I feel like I'm one of them niggas too, but like, like it's like our goal is the top of the steps. Yeah. But we'll never celebrate that fifth step. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. Niggas is crazy, like mm -hmm. niggas is climbing the steps. Niggas trying to climb 100 steps. We didn't climb 25 steps. And, and then, we'll, yeah, we ain't clap about that. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with <laughs> yeah, Exactly, yeah, real shit, real shit. That's, Damn, exact, that's exactly bro. what I mean though. That's you? crazy. What, so where would you say? If you had to measure it, like. yeah, that shit made me. That shit made me uh think about that shit. Like, damn, what's the goal for myself? And I feel like when I'm performing in Africa, mm. when I perform in Africa and the whole crowd saying my shit, I might bust out crying. Sheesh. Cause then I'm gonna feel like I made it. When I'm overseas and everybody singing my shit, then I'm gonna feel like I made it. You know what I mean? That's all. That shit gonna happen as soon as you know it. Yeah, sooner I'm than I'm you know. It. Know. That shit about to happen ASAP though. Exactly. I fuck yeah. around, come just to see <laughs> my nigga. <yeah. laughs> Yo, you uh, Real speaking time. of that, this is gonna be a weird question. When the last time you shed a tear? I ain't cried in a minute. I ain't cried in a minute. Do you remember the last time? No, I don't remember the last time I cried for. All the shit you've been through. Last time I cried. Mm. My cousin JJ funeral. Mm. Do you ever? Is it ever times where like you thinking like, man, I need to get like all my niggas out the hood or oh, like? Yeah, yeah, man. I think about this shit every day, man. I think about this shit every day. That's, does that does that ever like bring a tear to y'all? Hell nah. No. Mm -mm. Cause I know I'ma do it. Mm. If I knew that, if I knew that 
I want I need to get everybody right and I knew it was no way for me to do it, then I'd probably like, damn. Mm. But I know it's a way for me to do it. So What about the pressure though? Because I know it's a lot of it's niggas a lot probably of pressure, though. a lot of niggas probably look at you like on be peasy, right? But like you said, you looking at yourself like, man, I ain't even nowhere yeah, near where yeah, I want to yeah, be, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And niggas like, nah, you could do this, you could do that. But like, you feel like niggas back home or, or not even back home, some of your niggas look at you on a higher level, like, bro, relax, I ain't even there yet. Mm -hmm. Or I expect like, shit from I you. Like, I feel like most people look at me like I'm on a higher level, you feel know? me? Like, especially like family members. Yeah, shit. that's what I'm saying. Like, you think they expect shit from yeah, you that yeah. you. No, not, not really expect shit because ain't nobody really do shit for me. Mm. So I feel like it'll be wrong, it'll be unfair for a motherfucker to expect. But niggas not fair. We can't. Yeah. We can't act, act, act and like. I, and I'm just gonna voice the same opinion I'm giving you. I'm just gonna voice. <laughs> that. I feel like, bro. I'm just gonna tell him, bro. I don't think that shit fair, bro. Mm. Oh, mama. And then everybody know I got a given heart. You feel me? So motherfuckers really don't be asking me for shit. They know like, man, if he got it, he gonna do it. Like Facts. you feel me? Yeah. If he ain't got it, he ain't got it. What about the niggas that don't feel like that? Like I feel like. Oh, you, ever that, had to you can't come around. Me. You ever had to say, let's talk about the power of saying no. I feel like niggas in your position, it's probably like you had to learn how to say no. Yeah, you yeah, already yeah. fuck yeah, I had to learn how to say no. How was that, bro? Like how and how was it when you actually was able to say no? Like, was that hard? Yeah, that should be. Cause I don't that's why I don't ever ask for shit. I've been like that since I was little. Like I I'd be like, hey. Like my brother Iceberg, I'd be like, man, ask grandma for some chips for me, like a bag of chips. I never, like, cause I don't like hearing saying, I don't like hearing no. Yeah, rejection. So like when I start, yeah, I don't like rejection. So when I start like saying no and shit, it'll damn it get to me like, man, <laughs> fuck, damn, man. Like shit. Damn. But I really can't do it though. It's so like, bro, don't ask me nothing cause I don't wanna say no. Yeah, that's what it get, that's what it, that's what it get me over and like shit, I really can't do it shit. If I could do it, I would've did it. Damn. Yo, it's, it's, it's dope talk, it's dope having these conversations. Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like all the conversations be so cliche about, mm -hmm. What you got, Same old shit. What you got going on next? Like, what, what, like, it be all those questions or like, I don't know. That shit should be weird. I be wanting to have like real, real yeah, nigga yeah, shit. Real talk. Wait, wait, but we ain't finished. Did you, you ain't finished the feature list though? Oh shit, uh, baby money. Man, I ain't gonna spoil it. I ain't gonna, like, it still gotta be like that element of surprise. Nah, but I feel like, bro, you, so honestly, you had a lot of success early. You still having the success. I feel like you caught a lot of niggas before they even got crazy. Yeah. Do you feel like niggas be acting a certain way once they once they get their level of success? Like, bro, I was around before you was yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Niggas Is it hard do, to get these features again? It, uh, probably, probably, probably. It depends. But like I said, like niggas really be fucking with my music though. So I ain't never just had the experience of a motherfucker acting funny when they get on with me because I'm a genuine motherfucker. You feel me? I don't be on no. Like I'm not finna wait. I'm not finna. I right, say we do a feature before you blow. And then you blow up, fam. I'm not gonna be tearing down your DM and, bro, remember me, bro, pull up, man. Hey, you don't fuck with me no more. I'm not gonna be doing all that, you feel me? Right. I fuck with you. I'm happy to see you on, you feel me? Like, I might DM me like, bro, I'm happy for you, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie, you did that, you feel me? And then that'll be the only thing I say. You know what I mean? Even if you help me a little bit, I might DM and be like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, you help a nigga a lot, you feel me? And then leave it at that, you feel right. me? If a nigga fuck with you, a nigga gonna fuck with you, you feel me? Facts. I'm not gonna force nothing. But it's a lot of artists, well, I know a few artists you could spend a bin and that shit will go crazy, for example. Mm -hmm. When you did that Side of Baby feature? I did that Side of Baby feature uh, a couple like years ago. That was on the Previous to the Streets album. That was like four, three, or two years ago? I think like four. Four years ago. Yeah, yeah, like Even, four. you think you get a Side of Baby feature now? Mm-hmm. That nigga went crazy. Yeah. Like, that shit is crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. What about, um? you think you get a, a Young Boy feature again? I don't know, bro. Like a bro, introvert. He be to himself. He you don't say you nobody. introvert too. Yeah, kind of. That's why I don't be DM niggas. I don't DM nobody. I be chilling, bro. If nigga fuck with me, a nigga fuck with me, man. You feel me? I don't chill. Yeah, I don't man. really be tripping. But bro, to yourself, to yourself. Me, I conversate with you. I talk to you and shit. But bro, to yourself. Yo, how the fuck? How the fuck he go crazy like that? Like he got a different fan base. He being himself. That shit, cr like you don't see that shit often. Like that nigga don't even need to be signed to nobody. Yeah, he being himself. That That's shit crazy. Him. That shit genuine, man. You he, you he fucking with him. any um labels or anything? You yeah, I got I'm, I got I'm signing three hundred. How was yeah, that? Man, you want the piece shit? Fuck on my nigga Kevin. Yeah, I was in that motherfucker with a suit on. <laughs> fresh as a motherfucker. Fresh that was your first yeah, time. I've been like Tony Montana. We gotta expand, Frankie. That was your first time. Was that, that, huh? that was your first time with a suit on? Yeah, nah, man. I always wear suits. Them hoes love seeing me in the suit, man. They say I clean them nice and get a little line up, get my hair did, throw on a bow tie, you know. Nah, that suit shit fire. That yeah, shit was fire, man. That shit ain't gonna go. I'm finna go to Boosted Prom, too. 
I want to go to that. That yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Boosie Prom. That shit gonna be lit. I'm looking for a prom day right now. That's the great ladies. Oh really? uh, yeah, I'm looking for a prom day, man. You know, around shit. We gotta color. We gotta color. Uh, we gotta coordinate. <laughs> you know? Yo, what was the word? I was watching some shit, and the nigga said amicable. That, that's yeah. The I shit. ain't know what that shit meant. That was friend. the shit. I ain't gonna lie. When I heard your response, was everything. Nigga said, so what was it? Amicable. He was like, what's that? <laughs> I fuck with that. Oh, mama. <laughs> I fuck with, I I fuck with that. That was a good word. I've been using that motherfucking ears since. <laughs> you know, oh. I, every time a nigga learn something, I feel like girls do that. Every time a girl learns some shit, she always want to keep saying like, Bro, Yeah, I feel like that's knowledge when you, I feel like being smart is different from having knowledge. Knowledge mm. is, is learning something and then using it. Facts. Being smart is just knowing some shit. Mm. Mm. I like that. I like that. How was 300 cheating? You going to get some features oh, from yeah, that? Nigga, I bunch of niggas. You, I mean, shit, you can run it up alone on 300. Yeah, they got, I ain't gonna lie, they, we got Rost over that I motherfucker. S- I said 300, I said P. I don't, I don't know why I said that. That was, I ain't mean to say that. Hmm? I, I said, when I said 300, I said P, I ain't mean to say that. Oh, you, you just asked me, did I go to his birthday party? Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. Well, I asked it because you said 300, but I, I, I ain't mean to say that. Oh, that no, was, no, that's Kevin Lyle. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah I'm, Kevin Lyle. I'm bugging, I ain't mean to say that. I'm <laughs> it's wild. All, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Kevin was in that last night, too. I mean, or the other night, too. Yo, that oh, how mama. you how you feel about that? You see, he, uh, that my dog. He went on a um, you know Kevin from Baltimore. Yeah, I'm already know. Yeah, I'm already know. He got the key to my city. Yeah, Kevin got the key to Mobile. That's you know that shit. Wait, how the fuck you get the key there? I don't know. I don't know. I told him to help me try to get. I I get the key to the back Wait, door. You Kevin keep Lyles. the key to the front door. Just give me the key to the back of the city. You hear me? How the fuck you get the key to the? That's I don't know, but that shit hard though. That's crazy. That shit hard. That's dope. That seeing him go go and take the stand and like on some positive shit. Yeah, that shit hard. That shit hard, man. That's little, man. You feel me? How is it over there? Like, do you go in the office or like is I don't even know how being signed yeah, is now. It's, do it's you ever? Office. Have, it's the office. Yeah, go in the office and shit. How was the energy with the whole thug shit? Like, how was that? What you mean? Like with the thug shit? Cause I seen him just um take the stand for thug, and like I know that's it seemed like it was heavy for him. Is it hitting everybody else like that? Like, how was that shit? Yeah, that shit hitting everybody at the level. You know the um. 300 like a family, man. Mm. And I've been on 300 for like five years, you feel me? So anything I go through, I know the whole label be feeling it, you feel me? Damn. Like when I went to jail, like they was down there, they was calling the phone down there crying, like, you feel me? Like, man, it's peace good. Like it's it's a real family. So I know that that shit, I know that shit hitting them. It's crazy because I feel like at one point, niggas was saying 300, it was all negative talk. Like niggas. You know, is- people going people hold on to bad thoughts more than they, longer than they hold on to good thoughts, man. Facts. Cause Leo was over there too, right? Yeah. He's still there? Uh-uh. Cause I remember, I just remember at one point in time, niggas was talking about like 360 deals, all the, they, 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 they trying to put shelf in niggas and shit like that. And then now I see Kevin just taking over. Like it's all love. I don't know shit, there ain't no shit. Because me. remember, didn't the Migos had a situation and they left. That's why they went to uh, QC. They left? Yeah, didn't they? Am I tripping? They was all, I thought he was with 300 first and they left. Oh, okay. oh they were partners. It was partners. Oh yeah, I ain't shit. I ain't know. I ain't know. Oh, my oh yeah, I swear. I they, be, at one point in time, niggas was all all this talk about three hundred. Is this? Yeah, this, this. I ain't gonna lie. Three hundred. Shit. You know, I don't be paying attention to other niggas. This way, they love me though. You yeah, yeah, they love me, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, what, what, you, what y'all probably hear said, if you, if you get some trouble, they have your back. It's crazy because that wasn't all, like, bro. I'm not. I'm not crazy, bro. At one point, even with let's say X three hundred, right? At one point, niggas was talking so much shit about labels, like, yo, they want you to yeah. do the negative mm-hmm. shit so you can't mm-hmm. get locked up because it's gonna sell records and shit like that. But, but I feel when like, did that change? I feel like, you know, it, it be the niggas that play football all their life and never go to the NFL. Now they sitting up working probably a regular job or something, and they looking at everybody they went to school with or niggas that they was rapping with that went to the NFL and they like, man, shit, why would I go to the NFL? Man, they paying us to hit each other and, you know, <laughs> woo 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 But I feel like I'm not finna play football all my life and not wanna go to the big leagues. Mm. That shit over. And I feel like niggas who don't get that chance to go to the big leagues or they went to the big leagues and then they got hurt, sprang the ankle, you feel me, and couldn't shake back. You feel me? Dropped this song and couldn't follow up and shit like that. They start blaming the label mm. and niggas start blaming the franchise. You feel me? It's an easy like way out. You can't blame the franchise because you hurt yourself. You feel me? Real talk. So it's like, I don't know about everybody's situation, but I know my shit's great, man. You know? Damn. I love 300. They love me back. So you fuck with the, So question, when you when you, when you did the deal shit, I talk about this a lot of times. Mm-hmm. If you don't mind opening up for me for this, like, when you do it, cause I, I I get mixed signals. I hear like people, it's nothing wrong with doing three sixty deal, cause like they fronting all the money, so of course you want paying back. Then I hear niggas like they don't fuck with the label shit because like they just taking your money and robbing you shit. When it comes to the label and the business of it, 
like how was you able to conduct the business that that made sense for you having people like my manager on my side you feel me who 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 um who understand me understand our vision and shit, building a vision building a plan you feel me and shit like that you feel me and knowing what we want you feel me mm. that's all you gotta do man that's all you gotta do so you think you you pro it seemed like you pro label thing like you know a lot of niggas yeah. wanna do i'm pro i'm pro i'm pro like i'm pro whatever work for you type shit. Mm. it's different scrolls for different folks man a label might work for me and not work for somebody else you feel me know what i mean but i'm yeah i don't know mm. i fuck with it what I'm is pro it what uh, work for you man whatever work for you thug What's the Ooh, name that. of the project again? Misguided. Miss Misguided. Miss Misguided. When man. it come out? Next month. You got. I probably gotta say that. You gotta say the date, cause one. Oh good. shit! I ain't got no date. I ain't got no date, but I'm finished with the tape though. It's and gonna be in G- July though. Yep. I just dropped my first single out that motherfucker with G Herbo. It's called Mufasa. Yeah. You, it's out now. Yeah, it's out now. Oh, my, my it's baby. been on the radio and shit too on Sirius XM. Shout out Hip Hop, uh, Hip Hop Nation. You feel me? My mama. How was that shit going for you? The radio shit. You getting niggas fucking with you on the radio? Yeah, they fucking with a nigga. I ain't gonna lie, they fucking with a nigga. Nah, you feel me? But I ain't understand. I ain't. I, I ain't understand the radio concept until recently. You feel me? Explain it, cause I ain't gonna lie to you. I was on radio on DC and everything. KYS. I still don't understand that shit. Shit, I feel like for me, I just gotta find a song that, not a song. I just, I had to grow as an artist and make. A variety of different music instead of staying in one lane. You feel me? So I gotta when I'm in the studio, I be like, okay. Like what? Break it down for me. Like when I'm in the studio, I be like, right. I know what my core fan base want. Feel me? And I know how to go. I know how to go radio without going too far away from what my core fan base want, but still making big music for okay. a variety of ears. You feel me? Okay. So, so you like think that. you gotta make a radio song? For yeah. Radio hit it gotta be like that. Yeah, for sure. Unless. It's a song that I make for my core fan base, and they love it so much that they make it bigger. You know what I'm saying? Now the radio don't got no choice but to play it type shit. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna talk shit. I don't give a fuck. I feel like radio be on dicks. I feel like, like you said, if it's a song that's everybody fucking with, mm-hmm. they don't have no choice to play it. Exactly. The fuck you gonna do? You exactly. know what I'm saying? So like, I don't know. I, feel, I don't know. Sometimes I be feeling like radio is obsolete. Like That's the club too, though. That's the club. If everybody mm-hmm. fucking with it, they'll play a goddamn a real sad song in the club. If everybody love this shit, they playing that shit in the club, nigga. Facts. Mm-hmm. So you don't think the radio is like obsolete? Like niggas need still need radio. What obsolete mean again? Like done. Oh, not nah, here, nah. We niggas can look it up. Radio. Niggas still obsolete. Need. Can you look that up? Obsolete. Niggas, still, look it niggas up. still need radio for, for sure, real? for sure. Hell yeah. I, I don't know. Cause you gotta think. Time. Everybody use different ways to listen to music. Some people use YouTube, some people use Apple Music, some people use Spotify. You know, shit like that. Absolutely, no longer produced or used, out of date. Oh, for sure. No, nah, I don't I feel like it. I don't feel like it's absolutely because everybody like you still got people who get in the car and don't really know how to drive, so they don't want to hook up the Bluetooth. They just go to the radio. You feel me? Serious exam. Fuck it. Ugh, I don't feel like. So niggas still need them radio plugs. Nah, I mean you never like, know how people listen to the music. You feel me? Nah, like? fact. I feel like niggas are sleeping on. Well, not now. This shit is fed now. That podcast. This podcast. Shit, oh yeah, for sure. That Damn, shit. Yeah. That's man. Fuck it. That's the wave. Like niggas people listen sleep. to that shit. Yeah, niggas listen to that shit. Niggas Real are sleeping time. on that shit. Real time. I be listening to podcasts. I ain't watching them. What's your, what's your favorite one? Uh, I like big facts. I like big facts. That shit hard. I like big facts. That I like, shit hard. I like uh eighty five South Show too. That shit fire. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. That shit. That shit I like. I like those niggas. That like, shit like, crazy, like bro. That shit crazy. I be listening. See, I look at like shit like uh. This shit with Noriega. Mm, mm-hmm. Um, Drink Champs. That shit. He ain't be watching that shit. Them Drink Champs. And Drink Champs probably, I think, number one, bro. I'm gonna give Joe his respect. I ain't gonna lie though. Drink Champs is like top, top three for it's sure. It's top tier sure, because bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it hundred. With Drink Champs, Nori is so like old and seasoned in a game. He be having conversations that I be like, damn, I wish I could have that. Cause he knows so much. He's seen so much that shit. That shit be that's He's the best so conversation when a nigga like really know, like that shit hard. Mm-hmm. Him, Joe. I mm-hmm. fuck with Joe. I mean, I fuck with million dollars per game. Yeah, I like million dollars per game too. But I fuck with drink champs. I fuck with big fast too. Though yeah. I think that would probably be that would not nah, top. Five. Yeah, all of them. All of them bring a different element to uh to the podcast industry for real, for real. My shit about to be up there next. Fuck them. It's great. Up. I fuck with great them. Up. Well, fuck you, nigga. That's <laughs> <laughs> great. Up. I want to be peasy, man. Miss yeah. Guy, coming out July. It's July, man. Fuck my guy. He got the single out. What you you hear about right now? What is it? Yeah, Mufasa. 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 Uh. I don't got nothing else to say, man. Great conversation. Enjoy your Bel Air. I appreciate you for, I appreciate you for drinking with me. <laughs> Every time I get niggas like, yo, yo, what happened to your Instagram, man? Fuck that. What the they fuck is going on? They deleted my Instagram, man. For a comment, man. I I, I commented on somebody's shit. I ain't even cuss or nothing, man. What you say, bro? 
Okay, so boom. My dog had posted a meme. It was like, all guns to the side. Who really can box for real? Like, you know what I'm saying? Put the guns down. We talking about putting the guns down. You feel me? So I come in on that. And I say, I'll whoop something. That's all I say. I'll whoop something. Uh huh. And they took my shit. Let me tell you something, bro. I swear to God. I got two violations. My nigga. So I did a little, uh, I'm doing an interview. I did a, uh, fuck is it called? A reel. We dancing and shit. <laughs> so this girl had commented or some shit on my post like, this nigga Jay dancing. I'm like, shit. And like, you can't dance some shit. I'm like, pull up next time. I'm going to beat you uh, in a dance contest. What? Violation. Swear to God. Next one. The nigga uh, posting some shit on um, Instagram. I'm like, dog, I hit you. Hit me back. Violation. What the fuck? Instagram is getting out of fucking control. Why they doing everybody like this? Hey, I, they I, probably just trying to clean up their platform. That's man. bullshit, bro. Niggas is wildin', bro. Fuck these niggas, bro. <laughs> 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 fuck these niggas, bro. Yo, uh, anyway, I get... Anytime I have an uh, interview like somebody of your stature, I fuck with it. I appreciate it. I say thank you and I show my gratitude so much because, you know, I'm, I'm still on the rise. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing pretty good in my numbers and shit, but, like, I'm, like, we'll be talking about that middle stage, so I definitely thank you for it, bro. Yeah, for sure. OMB Peasy, Mr. J. Hill. Uh, I don't got nothing else to say. It's a